All right, Coach, first question's obvious one. Are you excited about the start of the season? Oh, yeah, we're excited to get on the road. We're excited to get on the bus and put this snow behind us and head to warmer weather. But, uh, you know, the beginning of the season is always an exciting time. Uh, that first road trip for some guys. And, you know, we're tired of playing each other, inter-squadding uh, for six months. Uh, it's nice to play somebody with another uniform on and play for keeps. You mentioned the weather here in Moorhead. I imagine that's probably limited the reps outside. And how does that factor into the start of the season when you've had weather like this and trying to get ready? Well, we do our best to not hinder us and, and you know, hinder our preparation. Uh, certainly, we would love to be on the field every day, and, and certainly you can uh, get more done that way. But at the same time, you know, we've had some inter squads outside. I think every one of our pitchers has pitched outside, uh, you know, in live competition. We've gotten some at bats on the field and so forth. Uh, you know, a lot of it's been inside over the last 10 days, and that's always a concern. Uh, but at the same time, you know, when, you know, we get ready for, open, you know, first pitch on uh, Friday, you know, all that's going to be out the window. And, you know, guys are going to be excited and so forth. I do expect us to get better as a team uh, throughout the year as we get on the field regularly. There's nothing like those uh, reps every day on the field, and we haven't had those consistently. And uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, it's not going to be a detriment or an excuse for us. So we're going to be ready to play on Friday. You look at this year's team, you have high turnover, especially offensively. A lot of unproven guys, and some would say. What do you look at with this year's team with an offense that is expecting some new names? Well, I think, you know, if you look at our club, uh, yes, we have a lot of new guys positionally. But our core of our pitching staff is back. And I think that should be a strength of our club, especially early on. Uh, there's experienced guys taking the ball for us, not only uh, in starting roles, but also out of the bullpen. A lot of key guys returning uh, with experience. So, you know, you hope you can lean on the pitching staff early. I think we have the makings to be a real good club offensively, but it's going to take a little time. You can't expect uh, some of those freshmen to, uh, you know, play at the level that uh, kids that have played in the program for three, four years and had 600 career at bats. But at the same time, it's a very talented group. I think positionally, uh, when it's all said and done, we can be very good. We'll talk about pitching here in just a moment. Offense, who are some guys that we can see this year that you're expecting big things out of? Well, I think our three returning guys that played regularly for us, uh, Ryan Kent, our center fielder, uh, Braxton Morris, our second baseman, Alex Stevens, our third baseman. And all three had real good years last year. Ryan Kent had a great year. Uh, in fact, maybe re leading the league in, in uh, uh, as far as returning player, a number of hits last year. Had 90 hits uh, as well as 20 doubles. Had a great year for us in the leadoff spot. Uh, Braxton Morse was an all OVC freshman team member and had a real solid year uh, for us. And uh, Alex Stevens, you know, was injured, missed half the year last year, but, uh, you know, played uh, very well when he was in there. And obviously was the MVP of the OVC tournament. And I think if you look at his numbers over the course of the season, how he played the whole game uh, or whole year, he, his numbers would have been really good. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's got all three have gotten better. I expect them to uh, continue to, you know, be anchors for us initially as the new guys get their feet wet. Uh, we've got some Juco kids that uh, Jesus Carrera is a uh, Venezuelan kid is going to play first base for us. And, uh, you know, he's pretty slick around the bag, left handed hitter. We expect a big year out of him. And Will Schneider's a Juco kid, uh, right fielder for us. And, uh, you know, should be in the middle of the lineup for us. And I think it's going to be an impact bat. And, uh, Tanner Bunning's another Juco kid that uh, you know, play some infield and some outfield for us. Uh, you know, real solid player, just a good college player and, and plays the game the way you want and is very versatile and I think that helps us a, a, as a team. Um, then we got some freshmen that uh, are going to get thrown in there. Reed Leonard's a freshman uh, from uh, Richmond, Virginia, shortstop, and, and he's going to be a good one. And, uh, you know, he's ready to go. I mean, as far as a, a freshman, since I've been here, as far as ready to step in and play right away from, first, from the first day, uh, you know, he's that. He's going to be a – he's obviously playing a very important position for us, but uh, he's going to be a very good player. And Trevor Snyder's a, a big bat for us as a freshman. Uh, you know, I think he's a middle lineup hitter for the future. Uh, he may find himself there early, but, uh, you know, he's a, a kid that can just flat out hit. And uh, Hunter Fain's a, a real good freshman catcher. Uh, he should see some considerable time here early, and, and uh, you know, we really like his future. As well as some other guys that were a little nicked up here at the 
positionally in the beginning, and uh, so it's going to throw some guys in there. You know, Mike Patrick would be in left field opening day for us, but it's got a broken hand, got hit by a pitch in an inner squad, and you know, little things that you can't avoid sometimes in the preseason. Uh, seems like we went through it a little bit last year positionally. Uh, open the season, we were a little banged up, and same way this year, but. You know, that gives opportunity some, for some new guys, and it makes us stronger as a club. You know, more guys get thrown into the fire right away and gain experience, and it just makes us better in the long run. Let's talk about that pitching. That's a big anchor for you guys this year. What do you expect out of them? Who are you wanting to see make some improvements this year as you move forward? Well, I think it, the biggest thing, you know, from our pitching staff, you know, we met last year when we got back from the regional and we talked about, you know, it doesn't take a genius to see we were losing a lot of position players off that club. Uh, and we felt like we had the talent on the mound and really kind of put it in their corner, you know, the pitching staff needs to be the anchor for us going forward for this next year because we are going to implement a lot of new guys. And to their credit, they worked hard over the summer. I mean, you see the jumps in some guys, uh, you know, Aaron Lacer a kid that, Pitched for us last year as a freshman, but pitched like a freshman at times, and he's really made tremendous strides. Uh, but even kids that, uh, you know, like seniors, like Matt Anderson, who's seen a spike in velocity, Pat McGuff, same thing. You know, they're just more consistent now. And, you know, we're going to start the, start the season. Uh, Luke Humphreys obviously will start on Friday for us. He's been on Friday for two years for us and has been very successful. And, you know, if it's not broke, we're not going to fix it. And uh, uh, But uh, Matt, will, Matt Anderson will throw on Saturday. Uh, uh, Aaron Lacer will throw on Sunday, and Pat McGuff will throw on Tuesday against NC State. And, you know, those guys kind of separated themselves to start for us. But I, I think one of the great things about our staff is our depth. Uh, you know, we're, you know, Craig Piercy and Tyler Keel are both in the back end of the bullpen where they've been very successful for us and both continue to get better. Um, Cable Wright, Brent Stone King are both guys coming back uh, from – uh, you know, key contributors last year for us. Uh, Matt Ellenbest is coming back. He, you know, he was a big contributor for us two years ago. Had Tommy John last year. You know, we're expecting him to return to form and have a key role for us. And then, uh, you know, Curtis Wilson's a, 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 a JUCO transfer. Should make an impact for us on the mound. Uh, uh, Left-handed pitcher uh, Jason Goes, a freshman. Aaron Goes, Goes' younger brother, and uh, you know, got a tremendous upside. He uh, he's bigger than his big brother, and uh, he's got a bright future as he continues to develop. Uh, and you know, there's some other guys that'll be thrown in there as well. But I, it's far and away the deepest pitching staff uh, that I've had since I've been here. But also, uh, you know, the, the high-end talent on it is you know the best we've had as well. Last question: Thoughts on your schedule this year? Well, I want to play a good schedule every year. I think we play as good a schedule as anybody in our league. Um, if you look, we're going to play uh, in our first eight games, uh, NC State and Louisville, both in the top ten in the country. Uh, so, uh, you know, and then, uh, you know, we've later in the year at Kentucky, at Tennessee, at Louisville. Uh, you know, we go to Vanderbilt midweek series at Ohio State again this year. Uh, so, you know, when I got here, I said I wanted to compete nationally and, uh, you know, compete for OVC championships and play in NCAA regionals. You can't compete nationally if you're afraid to schedule them. And uh, we, we haven't backed away from that. Uh, obviously, we're playing south the first couple weekends. That's We're trying to beat the weather, and that's why we're headed south. Uh, we'll play North Carolina Central this first weekend and then stay and play NC State on Tuesday. Uh, you know, the next weekend we play in a, a tournament uh, in Georgia. Uh, down at the Perfect Game Complex. It should be good. Uh, St. Louis, we'll play St. Louis. They're picked to win the Atlantic 10. Uh, we'll play Nebraska Omaha. We'll play Arkansas State, you know, who's always a very good program. So uh, I, th I think the first 10 games we'll learn a lot about our club. And I think the important thing for us is just to keep getting better. I, I, at this point, I don't think we can worry too much about who's playing in the other dugout. We got so many new faces and so forth. We just got to worry about us.